Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Taurus. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, there's something that you can't see coming. I see it's here. It's a decision here that is hidden from your view. It is hidden here and it is, is confirmed that this is hidden uh, from you over here. Um, when it does arrive, it's going to surprise you, maybe even shock you. And this is why we have the birds here, you see. So you may have experienced a setback or suffered some damage when it comes to love. Okay, if this is not you, it is the other person. Please remember that these energies can go vice versa. Um, so uh, if it's happening to you, you may have experienced um, some type of setback. Um, you, well, it, we're talking about the birds. So the birds uh, could be that you received some kind of news or uh, message, but the problem is with the birds is it could be uh, misinterpreted easily, okay? Kind of like the telephone game where a message is passed down and by the time it gets to the person um, it is uh, it has been changed you know so that's a possibility with the birds but definitely there's been a setback um, uh, when it comes to love we also have the ring here um, it could be that it could be that there was supposed to have been a happy event that maybe took a turn for the worse with the birds being here because the ring can uh, indicate something that repeats uh, so there could be some type of repeating pattern between you and this person maybe something is coming back around again okay but you definitely don't see it because this is you here and you're looking to the future, and but you're looking at uh, the moon. So you can't see, okay? It's like you're, the side you look at is in shadow. So you may be, you're, you're not maybe, you are definitely in the dark about uh, a decision that is uh, happening, okay? Or that somebody is going to take. You could be feeling over-emotional. I feel, see, you're looking to the future. You, you're in the dark and you're wishing for something. Um, you could be remembering because you're holding these little white flowers in your hand. And uh, we also have death here. And this is uh, could be about ghosts of the past, right? So you may be hoping for change. Uh, here um, and you could be feeling over emotional your mind could be running all over the place when it comes to something you're wishing for um, maybe you're wishing for a lucky break possibly I feel like you I feel like you are wanting or planning or that they are planning to uh, be seen again it, it's like somebody has been alone and withdrawn and now suddenly they will come out and be seen again and it will definitely definitely take <laughs> if it's happening to you it's going to take you by surprise maybe even shock you or if this is you, you may shock them, you know, by suddenly reappearing on the scene again. It looks like uh, with faith in reverse on the three of coins, you may have felt in the past that you were not able to work with, with someone. Um, it could be uh, that there was a lot of doubt and uncertainty 
uh, surrounding being able to build something with someone. You may have felt the devil is at the heart of this uh, three of coins. Yeah, he's right, right in on the center coin there, you see. And so you may feel uh, somewhat disillusioned by, uh, by someone. Yeah, because I feel like something was supposed to happen and it was supposed to be a happy event, but it didn't turn out that way. And you may even feel or have felt or or actually felt in the moment uh, that, oh my God, you know, um, now, I, now I see. Um, it's like you, you suddenly saw something. Maybe uh, this could be by an action or a w words that were spoken possibly. And it's like, it's a feeling like the blinders are off, but it's not based on fact. So it could be uh, illusory, you know, it could be an illusion. It could be that emotions were running the show. Water card here is present and it's in the reverse. So it's like being over emotional. So emotions could have been running the show. The moon also being here. Oh my God. So there could be, somebody could have some, uh, or could have been carrying some very deep repressed emotions uh, with regards to the person, uh, possibly uh, to the situation it itself possibly um yeah i mean it could very well be that a, a cycle has been repeating between you and this person yeah and so um i feel like Somebody, I think, is preparing to come out of this energy. I feel it's hidden from you. I feel you don't know this. This is what's hidden from you. It's a decision. It's somebody's decision, this other person, to come out of this energy. What you can't see coming is that somebody wants to create a new opportunity with you. It's right there. You can't see this coming, but they want to create a new opportunity uh, with you. There's recognition here that something needs to change. And um, here we have it, the new offer. And you see how that fish just drops. It's just dropped right in. That's how it's going to happen. That That's going to, it's, it's going to feel like sudden. So this is something that happens really sudden. We have the tower here twice. I feel like there's a sudden uh, a sudden revelation, but that it brings hope. It's not bad. Whatever this is, is that's coming is good because this is a card that speaks to a glimmer of hope and it's sitting on top of the tower. So something's going to get broken down or got broke down, but there's a silver lining to it and that's what you're going to see. And I feel like you're going to be able to rebuild with this person, something you you couldn't do in the past. So something has been shown with the tower, okay? And that's, the bird talks about this, you know, um, this setback. But uh, it also says that uh, if you're wise enough, you learn an important lesson and can change your misfortune into luck. It's learning by experience. So you, for you or for them. So we have that uh, Two of Swords over here also. Um, this is speaking to making peace or wanting to. It's uh, uh, talking about a truce, friendly talks. Um, somebody wants to put an end to a painful situation and uh, they wish to talk about a healing. Um, 
it could be that one of you, though, uh, could be causing the setback or delay because this can be a stubborn energy here. It's possible that somebody uh, has been holding back on that decision because uh, uh, they feel maybe the other is holding a grudge. But now it's happening. It's something that was, uh, was hoped for, wished for, and now it's happening. But <clears throat> what I see is that there was a misunderstanding. And um, this, is, this person's coming in to clear this up. So there's a shocking revelation. The thing is, something happened and somebody probably felt like the other person didn't really love them, you know, didn't really care for them. Um, when in fact, it wasn't true because whatever they thought was going on was not based on fact. There was, there was no fact. It was uh, emotions that were running the show, possible emotions from old wounds. We have the moon, we have the moon, we have the, the water card here in reverse. Um, <clears throat> but, so this setback happens, but in the same breath, uh, something is revealed and a lesson is learned. This is all really, really good, actually, um, because then we have temperance and justice coming in. So this is a hope for healing. Somebody doing the right thing. Somebody speaking the truth, telling the truth, apologizing. There's an explanation for the wound. Look. They cut their hand up. Like, you got... You got one person is, who's kind of like asking questions here. The other one's just like saying, okay, I did it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I did it. But that's, um, there's a shocking revelation that comes out of this. Because, and the reason it shocks this person is because they, they believe uh, strongly at this point, they believe um, with this card in reverse, this is like believing in something so strongly they can't be swayed, you know, but it's not based on fact. So, but they're believing so strongly in something, they believe so strongly that they're being duped or that they're going to be duped or that this person doesn't love them. So when, when this person actually does come back and, and speaks to them from the heart, they're shocked. They're surprised because initially they believed uh, that uh, it wasn't true. And they believed strongly that it wasn't true. But it was uh, emotions that, that were uh, leading or driving uh, uh, old swords and old wounds to the surface, you know, that was causing all of this havoc. So get ready, I'm telling you. Uh, be prepared. Uh, if you've been trapped in your mind about this, well, you're about to be released from those from those thoughts. But this is a good, good uh, surprise that is coming. Okay, somebody's making a decision, and uh, here's the book, and uh, this is to tell you something, uh, to tell a secret, or to tell something that you don't know. And what you don't know is how this person really feels about you. But you're about to. You're about to. So get ready. There's a very happy event coming up in your future and a very shocking one, actually. I thank you for watching, for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.